Columbia is getting ready to celebrate its 50th birthday in 2017. But how does a city celebrate, especially our city, that is named the best place to live in the United States? Well, it starts with looking at its history. And our history is kept here in the Columbia Archives. It's here among tens of thousands of documents, thousands of photographs, hundreds of buttons, bottles, and birthday memorabilia. It's here in the evolution of communication tools like telephone books and newspapers. How does one sift through all of this to tell a story? Several years ago, we began to collect information about the planning process to put on a website timeline, which you can access on our website, columbiaarchives.org. And there, we've gone through boxes to look through documents and maps and photographs and have chosen some that tell the story. Folders like this unlock the real story of Columbia. We have correspondence by James Rouse. We have his answers. In this file, we have correspondence between James Rouse and Jim Ryan of Ryland Homes, who was the first builder in Columbia. As we get closer to the birthday in 2017, we are looking at construction photos. I'd like to show you just a couple. The construction of Wild Lake Village Center began in March 1967. Look at the swim center going up. Or one of Columbia's first multifamily housing, the Cove right on Wild Lake. Wild Lake was dedicated on June 21st, 1967. And here we see Fraser Wild speaking to the crowd. It was at this dedication that Jim Rouse first talked about Columbia never being finished, that he hoped Columbia would continue to grow. As we continue to chart the course of Columbia's history, we'll have many more photos, like the groundbreaking for the Wild Lake Interface Center. As we get closer to the launch of the birthday celebration, we're busy doing lots of research and gathering stories. We're pulling together artwork for exhibit. Artwork such as posters by the official poster lady, Gail Holliday. Most of the people in Columbia have seen village posters that Gail did for every neighborhood and village. People might not know about the posters she also did for the first stores to open in Wild Lake, like the butcher shop. We will be displaying the early Gail Holiday work at an exhibit at Slayton House. Gail Holiday also did the poster for the first birthday. There's lots more to see here at the Columbia Archives, and I invite you to visit.